A church in Hampton is helping its neighbors through food. The Vineyard Ministries runs a nonprofit grocery store in the Buckrow Beach section of the city. Our Maria Elena Baloris joins us now with how organizers hope they can help them and the entire community. Yeah, the founders say that they saw a need in their community for affordable food, so they opened the storehouse. The Food Bank of America says 11% of people in Virginia are food insecure, meaning they don't know where their next meal will come from. In Hampton, that becomes 16 to 26 percent of the population. It's a statistic this local church wants to change. Welcome to the storehouse. The shelves are stocked with your grocery store staples. Your meats, uh, your fruits, your vegetables, even some herbs. But the storehouse is something different. The storehouse is the first and only nonprofit grocery store in Virginia. Slowly becoming a staple of its own in the Buckrow Beach area of Hampton. This is to meet everybody. Pastor Jacob Hobson and the staff at the Vineyard Ministries started the storehouse back in 2015. Once a month, parishioners shopped for food at a discounted rate. We saw that it was blessing our members, and this was something that we felt like needed to uh, be seen in the local community. So last year, they opened up to the public. This is not for low-income families. This is for all families. This is not for Christians. This is for everybody. It's for people like Leo Smith, a loyal customer for more than a year. I mean, the friendship and the, the love that you feel when you come in, like the pastor was stating, they have their shop helpers. Where else are you going to get that? Last year, the storehouse helped 10,000 families. They're hoping to hit that same number in six months. In the richest country in the world, there should not be a need. And going into summer, they know the need will only increase. There should not be a child who uh, looks forward to school because they know that's the only meal they're going to get. Donations and money raised at church pay for all of the food. Hobson hopes one day the storehouse will pay for itself. Until then... We're just trying to be a blessing to as many people as we possibly can. They'll continue to help their neighbors one meal at a time. Hobson has eyes on the future with half an acre of land to farm in Franklin and a trailer for hydroponics. If you'd like to help or donate, we have the information on how to do so on wavy.com. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.